guys. It is a frosty winter night here in the end times in paradise in mid-October. It's Thursday night, October 20th, 22, and I see my battery warning light is flashing. So uh, I was going to do a, a rant tonight here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe about how to survive a nuclear attack. But uh, I think I might have already done that one, and so anyway, I gave that to that little eco pussy over there at Collapse Chronicles. So if you want to hear about how to survive a nuclear attack, uh, you can go listen to that. So before my battery crashes, uh, we're going to look at the ongoing famine in a in Somalia. This is the fifth biggest story on the planet right now. Titled, uh, let's see, this is from just Yahoo News itself. East Africa hunger crisis is likely to lead to one death every 36 seconds. Oxfam warns. So this is another story, you know, looking at the uh, ongoing and escalating famine in uh, in in East Africa. Uh, and again, I got out the bloodhounds and the uh, and the electron microscope, looking for the word overpopulation or population anywhere in there. Now, they, they are getting smarter uh, in the mainstream media. I've noticed, <laughs> like in this article, they don't start out this article interviewing a mother of 10. It's They're beginning to catch on. I think Oxfam and the UN and are beginning to beginning to finally figure out that, uh, you know, these honkies uh, don't want to hear it anymore. They don't want to hear one more fucking word about some clueless fucking bitch over there in sub-Saharan Africa with the ten goddamn kids, uh, you, you know, uh, like holding out their hands uh, for more food aid. Uh, so there is not one interview, wisely enough, with a mother of ten or a mother of eight or whatever. So uh, they just quietly just you know brush that little thing under the uh, the rug as as they're guilting, guilt tripping all of the. Uh, Gringos. They talk about the six million little children that are facing or already suffering acute malnutrition. Yes. Uh, you know, of course, do not forget it is Vladimir Putin's fault. It's Vladimir Putin's fault why all of those sub-Saharan African children are starving to death. Yes, blame it on Vladimir Putin. Yes. So then they mention this little factoid about, if you even remember this, uh, that did you realize that in 2011, a famine in... Somalia claimed the lives of 260,000 people, more than half of them children. So what I would be interested in, in hearing, okay, so there was a famine in 2011, killed 260,000 people, more than half of them children. So after that is a message from the universe, I would be curious, and I need to look this up, how many children have been born in Somalia since 2011? I mean, how many uh, uh, kids 11 years old and younger 
are dying of famine, are dying of starvation today. Uh, just obviously the reporter and editor had no interest in that, in that little uh, factoid. Uh, then of course, yes, it's Corona Panic's fault. It's uh, Corona Panic's fault. It's Vladimir Putin's fault. It's Vladimir Putin's fault because Somalia alone imports about 90% of its wheat from Ukraine and Russia. Yes, then of course, you know, but it is, uh, you know, you know what it really is, is uh, it, it is those rich honkies in the global north with their goddamn carbon emissions. It is those honkies uh, here in New York uh, are the reason that, what, six million Somali children are getting ready to starve to death. It's because these damn honkies uh, here in the U.S. flying all around the country to come to a party at Hambone's place. Groot, Jennifer, I'm sorry, I love you guys, but it is your fault. I hate to say this, guys. Groot and Jennifer, you are the reason six million children in Somalia are dying of starvation. Yes. Uh, so the U.S., meaning U.S. taxpayers, have so far donated over two billion dollars in critical humanitarian assistance across the Horn of Africa more than the rest of the world combined. Yes. Um. Okay, and here we go. This is the real reason. The real reason that all these people are starving, according to the mainstream media. As crops continue to fail year after year, it is not lost on advocates that the G20 group, yes, a forum made up of the world's largest economies, accounts for 80% of the world's emissions, and that the most vulnerable uh, countries experience the harshest effects. Yes. Uh, there you go. Uh, this is one of these Oxfam uh, America's president, Abby Maxman. We have been ringing the alarm, but only see the situation continue to deteriorate. It's not an act of aid, but our collective obligation to act now. Yes. Anyway, so 513 comments, but we're going to hear from uh, Humpty Dumpty. What does Humpty Dumpty have to say about this story in the mainstream media? Take it away, Humpty Dumpty. I wonder how many seconds it is between births in Sub-Saharan Africa to this day. I guess when all those millions of starving children who never should have been born were born in the past five years or 11 years that Somalia was not importing one grain of wheat to feed the children. It is time for Oxfam, the United Nations and the mainstream media to be honest about the reason so many people are starving in East Africa, and it is not due to emissions from rich white men in Honkyland. It is due 
to emissions from poor black men in the Horn of Africa. N cut the crap! Whose emissions are, 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 are killing all of these kids? Is the nocturnal emissions uh, of a bunch of horny, uh, poor black guys uh, uh, over there in Africa. They won't keep their fucking pecker in their pants. Cut the shit. We know goddamn well uh, why, why these fucking kids over there are starving to death. Uh, it's because these clueless fucking morons won't keep their fucking pecker in their pants. You know? To cut the fucking crap. A kid who has never been born cannot starve to death. This is overshoot in action. Uh, goddamn Somalia, Haiti, everything is getting to every fucking thing it deserves that's going on. I could do a whole nother rant in Haiti, but I am some southern white male... I am some honky white male with a southern accent, so if I tell the, those fuckers over there in Somalia and Haiti to take some fucking personal responsibility uh, to, to what's going on in their own fucking country, uh, I am obviously a whatever, you know, chicken shit little limp dick lefties. I get fucking sick and tired of these little fucking limp dick lefties. I, I, I wish these motherfuckers over there in Somalia and Haiti and wherever else uh, could suffer a little bit of limp dick. Uh, maybe it would take care of this fucking problem. Anyway, get out there and keep your pecker in your pants while you still can. My guys.